Some things happened in this episode that made me go like, ah, just like that. Ah. <laughs> but apparently things are happening in this life, in this Nigeria, that some of us do not know about. <laughs> Good evening, beautiful ladies. Thank you, sir. <laughs> sit down, sit down, ladies. Oh, you, sit down. Excuse uh, me, are you sure you're not mistaking Jenna for someone else? Someone else, okay. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, what did you say your names are again? <laughs> Lara. Lara Adeshola. Oh, Lara. Adeshola? As in Chief Akin Adeshola? Yes, Chief Akin ah. Adeshola is my father's son. Ah, ah. Oh, Ake is great. my very good friend. Hey you, welcome back to my channel. My name is Adenike Adibayo Esho. I am a movie and lifestyle content creator. This is my movie channel. I also have a lifestyle channel, so if you're interested in that one, I'll put the link down below in the description box, okay? Please subscribe to the channel. Thank you. On this channel, I react to TV shows, web series, and also do movie reviews and trailer reactions. If it's on TV, I'm talking about it, okay? <laughs> okay, episode three of Assistant Madame's Lara's Story, played by Tana Adelano. First of all, eh, if I'm at a supermarket or a boutique or a store, and I'm trying to shop, and then they tell me to walk out, They'll pay me. Yes, they have to pay me and compensate me for the time I spent there. You know, I wanted to grumble when Lara finished shopping for herself and her friends and they were like, the total was 3.5 million. But then again, see, when you don't work for something, you cannot, you will be spending it anyhow. You know, so I was like, mm, it's money that she probably didn't work for so she can be spending it anyhow she like so it's actually possible and then when they got home and they were having that conversation and lara was speaking to her friends like that initially i was like ah but then when i thought about it i was like see she has every right to speak to them like that because when you are leeching off of someone they'll speak to you anyhow that's why she can be disrespecting her friends like that that eh, you know it's practically a relationship why won't you speak that way when all you are doing is taking and taking and taking and she will insult you now. Someone that is feeding you, buying clothes for you, buying and you have my husband. You you have your two hands and your two legs. You can't go and hustle for yourself. You are depending on your friend. Naturally, the person will talk to you anyhow. See, eh, I know most of you have dropped comments saying, I didn't care, these things happen. There are rich men in this country, they don't mind spending. His net worth is over 12 billion, something, something. 100k dollars is nothing. This one, Range Rover, is nothing. But, but, that chess game, $100,000, like, like, you guys, you guys, like, are we. Oh, yes, your money. <laughs> do you have a dumb account? Is the sky blue? Of course I do. Chris. <laughs> Let me give you the details. Oh, okay. And, um, General? Yes. Store it on your beneficiaries list. There you go. I will. Uh, okay. Lara, Adishola. I know. I can see. <laughs> Dear All right. So, I better do that now. Okay. Mm. My mind is blown, though. If you're telling me these things happen, that rich men just drop comfortably money that they is not money ritual that they did do. Money that is sweated for, you know, just like that, over a chess game with a random girl that just walked into a place and hundred thousand dollars just like that. And then you know, look at someone like Jon Snow. <laughs> yes, John or John, whatever his name is. You know, look at someone like him. And you're like three side chicks. All collecting money, range over this one, millions, this one, this one, every. Ah, ah. If you're saying this is happening, I believe you, but I believe you. Last father wasn't convincing at all. Like, I didn't find him convincing as a father, I didn't find him convincing as a wealthy man, I didn't, I didn't find him. Meanwhile, the way the girls are all kind of linked to the same guys or the same 
wealthy men is making me think that maybe just maybe they are going somewhere with the story come to think of it they are telling these stories of these three different women who have so far have no connections to each other whose motives are all different you know and somehow somehow these women seem to be recycling the same men it makes me kind of think that okay maybe the point is that they are going somewhere with the story by the way i didn't know july was a banker did you guys catch it in the last episode because i could have sworn there was nothing about him being a banker mentioned in the last episode and then in this episode we find, find out that he's a banker and i'm like is it, is it adding up for you guys? Because now I'm looking at Jola sideways like... Hmm. So it's not his money that Jola is spending. Rather, he's spending the bank's money on women. Let us talk about Ugo. Let's not even talk about the father because we are all assuming that these things happen, right? These wealthy men and whatever, they do whatever they want with their money, right? Good. He's fine, no, but he's slow. Very fine guy, but slow. Don't you expect that kind of guy, young, fine, sharp, supposedly sharp? Wouldn't you expect him not to tolerate or entertain that kind of interruption from anyone not to talk of a lady that you don't know a lady that your father doesn't know like we can suspend our iq as much as we want but we can only suspend it so far before we self we start looking at ourselves like ah, because it just it just didn't make sense my father does not even have to be a billionaire i can't be having a conversation with my father and then you're just going to walk there and i look at my father and he obviously doesn't know you i'm going to say excuse me we're having a conversation i'm going to make you wait and then what you you just don't approach considering how wealthy that man is you can't just what i'm saying or what my issue is with the story so far is how easily these girls just seem to be getting it. The men they approach never say no. They never experience any obstacles in approaching these men. And it just easily works out. And this happens over and over again. And you people are saying that these things happen. And you people are saying that these girls are not using jazz. Okay, back to Ugo. And next thing, you were there when your father met this girl. You saw the kind of conversation she was having with your father. And next thing, you carry yourself. You people go to lunch, whatever. And then you're having business conversations with them. Okay. Okay. No problem. No, 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 no problem. Okay. Now that we have seen the stories of all three ladies, I'm curious. And I'm excited to see where they go with the story. I want to see how the men all link up. I want to see where the ladies go from here. I want to see if the ladies are even connected in any way. I want to see what the eventual outcome of the ladies would be. I just want to see how the stories tie up. Because so far, they've told the stories individually. So in as much as it might not make sense individually right now, I'm hoping that by the time we move on to episode four, everything will gel together. Unless if this is a storytelling method they want to take where they are telling an individual character story each episode. Maybe then we'll be able to see a bigger picture and put everything together. But so far, episode one is still kind of the best with the bang and the way the story was introduced. So yeah, let's just see where the story goes and how the story progresses from here henceforth, all right? What did you think about this episode? Did you like it? Did you enjoy it? Was it fun? Did you believe it? 
Were you imagining yourself to be Lara Adeshola? <laughs> Whatever your thoughts are, please leave them down below in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you're interested in more movie-related content. Or check out my lifestyle channel if you're interested in me. I love you guys so much. I'll see you again very, very soon. You know how we do it. Remain in God and God bless you. Bye.